Hello everyone, my name is Tantank100 and welcome to the Okami Squadron channel. Today we're going to be talking about placeholder API and some of the basics and extensions that you can use with it. This will help you understand exactly how to use placeholder API, what it's used for, and use it with any plugins that you see fit. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos from me, consider subscribing. Hope you all are having a great day. Let's get on into it. So first off, make sure you have placeholder API installed. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you do. If you don't, the link will be in the description to download it. But this page right here is the list of all available placeholder extensions and plugins that use it. Most of the plugins listed are only the ones that require you to actually download some sort of extension. A lot of other plugins that aren't listed here automatically use it without needing to run a command. But this page will also be linked in the description if you'd like to view it. So let's start with the basics. Placeholder API, it's kind of self-explanatory by the name. It is an API that allows any plugin to use any sort of placeholder system fill out an autofill, whatever you want to put there. Let's say you want a scoreboard or tab menu to be able to show the player name or the TPS or anything like that. Placeholder API is a very easy way to get this implemented into any other plugin that wants to use it. Make sure if you are using a plugin and want to use placeholder API, make sure that plugin actually supports it. Most of the time it's on the spigot page wherever you got it from. It'll tell you if it does or does not. But there's many commands to get to placeholder API. You can type out the full thing or you can do what I normally do and just do poppy. And there's a lot of different commands. I'm just going to go over a few of them. Some of the main ones like parse. So if you have a placeholder installed, let's say player, this is an extension you can install. I'll go over that later. But what parsing does is you can choose who it'll parse as. So let's do me. You can also just do your name if you want. And then you can type in the placeholder. So if I just do player name, just like that, it'll come up with my player name. If I change it and do player allow flight, you'll see it says yes, all these different things. So with placeholder API, most placeholders that you use will check based on which player is seeing it. So if you had a tab menu or something, it'll always be based on what the player name is and all the information will be about them. Some of them do not require that and it's just a placeholder that can show whatever it decides or whatever is programmed to do. But now let's go over extensions. So back on this page, all of these on this list are extensions right here at this first part. So these first few are ones that are built in with placeholder API. You can install them without needing, without needing any other plugin. So for this example, I'm going to show you the player since this is what I was using earlier. When you click on one of these, you can see all of the available placeholders that you can use as well as the command to install it. So right here is the command. Some of them say you do not need to install it using a command. If so, then it just runs right off the bat with just placeholder API or whatever other plugin is installed. But for this, we're going to copy and go back in game. Once we're in game, you can paste it. And you can see it says Poppy, eCloud, Download, and whatever it is. So for this, we're just going to be using Player. There's a few other ones called Player, but just Player. You press Enter, it'll install it. And then after that, you do Poppy Reload to get it actually working. So now that it's working, you can use that same exact placeholder we were talking about earlier. If you parse, it'll actually show up just like that. Well, that's the basics of built-in extensions. Now if we go view other ones that are based on plugins. So if we scroll down, all of these are plugin-based ones. For this, I'm just going to search up Luckperm since I have this installed on the server. Right here, you can you can see it says Poppy eCloud download Luckperms, and then you can find all the placeholders on the wiki. So again, not every plugin is listed here, but some plugins work right off the bat if it supports placeholder API. Other ones will be listed here, but some of them, as you can see, say no download command needed. All you have to do is install the plugin, make sure it's on the server, and you'll be able to use the placeholder. But now let's go test out the Luckperms. Now we can test out Luckperms by installing it, just like that. And then once that's installed, you can use any of the placeholders that they list on their wiki. But now I can show an example of how using it in a separate plugin would work. So now inside the command panels, if I set up the example to now work with this, I can take this menu and change it up a little bit. So instead of name right here, what we can do is the placeholder. So let's do player name with command panels there's actually a built in one but for this example i'm going to be using a luck perms based one just like that and then if we type commands just like that this will now be able to be used 
through command panels and show any of these as well as run it through command. So back in game, if I reload, go into the example, you can see right here, it says time take hundred, which is my name using that placeholder. And then if we click it, you'll see it shows our XP. So for this, I don't have any, but you can see it does not show the actual placeholder name. This is the very basics of placeholder API and how you can use it in other plugins as well as installing extensions for other plugin placeholders to work. If you download a plugin, most of them are compatible with placeholder API if they have some sort of use for it. But hopefully that helped you figure out exactly what you need and how to use it. If you guys like the video, please leave a like. If you want to watch more of my videos, consider subscribing. It'll help us out a lot. If you have any suggestions for any future videos, please leave them in the comments. I'll see what I can do with them. Again, all the links to all the resources will be in the description as well as a few other things like my website, which does have a bunch of free resources for command panels and things like that. But thank you all for watching. Hopefully you're having a good day and I'll see you in the next one.